Hey guys, Victor here, and I'm back with another video. Of course, it's been forever since I made one. Just, uh, I've been, you know, in the rut uh, doing photos and stuff, but not really getting any good behind the scenes video. So hopefully this one uh, works out pretty well with some good video for you guys. But anyways, uh, I'm shooting with Taylor today. And we are over in the field area that is down by the river in Sacramento. Of course, one of my favorite spots to shoot because it is just beautiful with the nature and I'm able to get some really great photos with a nice golden pop to it. Uh, Taylor is somebody that uh, I found on Instagram. She is a model and um, so make sure you go and follow her work. Check her out. Let me know what you think. Uh, anyways, yeah, here we went down by the river. We had a couple different outfits to put on. She wanted to start off in this uh, long sleeve bodysuit just to kind of get some good golden colors to, to blend in well with the background. I was originally going to bring some lighting as well, but I kind of got lazy. It was a very hot day and I didn't want to lug around my AD600 from Godox with a, uh, any type of lighting. So I kept it very bare bones. I, you know, natural light. I have her with her back to the sun, as you can see from the shadows on the ground. And I'm just shooting with the sunlight behind her. I, I am a little overexposing, or I'm actually a little bit underexposing for her. That way I'm able to keep some of the colors behind her. And then just kind of brought it up and post a little bit. But yeah, so whenever you're shooting outdoors and you've got a lot of harsh sunlight, what I like to do is just have the models back to the sun and just kind of shoot with that. It gives nice even colors and you're able to see from the images right here. So the gear that I'm using is my Nikon Z6 with a 85 1.4. I also brought a 70 to 200 2.8 but for the most part, I'm rocking the 1.4 today just because I really want that shallow depth of field, that bokeh, and just the fall off behind the model. Now, just in case you're wondering, I actually have uh, my mini faux pro, you know, my action camera set up on my camera itself, just so that you're able to get my own point of view from what I'm shooting. And then uh, I have it kind of tilted to the side. That way you're able to see the actual angle of what I'm doing uh, from my perspective. Because if I had it in landscape mode, it would all just be sideways for you. So having it this way works out pretty well. And then we just finished the set with her sitting on a log pointing off to the side. We got a couple really good images from this one, but there was one in particular that I really loved that I wanted to put into this video for you guys. next set was going to be here in the river and uh, for being the middle of the summer this water was freezing I have no idea what's going on usually it's a lot warmer than this but uh, yeah we found this little quiet cove uh, on the river right over that tree that's right behind her there were a ton of other people but luckily nobody decided to come over and bug us and we were able to get some really good photos with that wood behind her just to kind of get a good background Now when you're working with a dress or an article of clothing that is sheer or pretty see-through, you want to be really conscious about your angles that you're having the model be in, what direction they're facing, as well as what uh, you're shooting. 
because depending on the style that you're shooting and you know how comfortable your model is you want to make sure that you're getting really great images while at the same time still kind of keeping it classy and not going crazy with exposing body parts and everything still you're still keeping that sexy allure but keeping everything covered In my bag of random crap that I usually bring with me to shoots, I had this skirt that I've used before in the past, but I uh, thought it would work really good right here. It's a really cute, small skirt that's really flowy, able to be moved around really easily, and um, you know, she saw it, she really liked it. So I figured, why not? Go ahead and throw it on. We'll get some great shots in the water. Yeah, if it gets dirty, you can just easily wash it out. I wasn't too worried about it. And the photos came out fantastic. Um, when you're shooting with something like this, it's really easy to do some motion and get some really good images from that. Just by tossing the fabric and moving around, swaying left and right, it just creates this beautiful look uh, to it whenever you shoot. So that about does it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, do you have any comments, questions? What other questions you guys have as far as setup or technical stuff? More than happy to answer them in the in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, otherwise, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.